tuned. It's the Cozy Boys back again with the Cozy Vibes Podcast Part 1. As always, I got my homeboys with me. Come back with something sly, your boy Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like how you did that. I like how you did that. Was, was... And it's your boy Jew. Just keep playing stuff. As always, my name is James. And today what we're talking about is what do people misunderstand about you the most? That's a tough question. That's a, that's a tough question. I don't I don't know. What you think about that, Jada? What do you think? I you feel like about you people because you real low key. People think I'm mean. Like I'm really not. Like if you get to know me, like we get to talking. Like you would understand that I'm not mean, but like it's true. I really don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> I'm not mean. Like I have feelings and I care about your feelings too. Like all your feelings is valid. But like, if you tell me some shit that I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna tell you I don't give a fuck, and I'm gonna mean it. But, but, but like, it's probably going nonchalant. So like, you gotta take everything I say serious. Do you actually not care? Because people that be nonchalant, like they don't, they say they don't care, but they have feelings, but they just don't show them. So do you have them, or you just don't show them, or what? How you, how you, how you deal with that? I mean, like I know it's right for wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, that big guy, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have feelings. Like, damn, I feel bad. I'm so empathy, but like. Like right third, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but like, if somebody like somebody dies, somebody gets shot, like I'm not generally not gonna care like that. But like, oh, someone so got shot. I'm yeah, not gonna like, feel nothing. Like famous people, no disrespect, yeah. but like famous people. Yeah. Like, like a lot of people, I, I feel the same way. You know what I'm saying? A lot of famous people might die or whatever. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. to them. But me, if I, if I don't know somebody, I can't get attached to them like that. People will really cry over celebrities, and I feel like you know what I'm saying. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But that's you. But me personally, I can't I can't get attached like that, bro. Yeah, that's what a lot of things, especially celebrity stuff, happen. Yeah, yeah. cause they, they act like they know them, like personally. Yeah, they know their daily routine. Know what they ate for breakfast, like, bro. Like, like they was Saturday. on Facetime with him the other day. Like, like, bro, you, people don't be knowing these people. Like, bro. it's sad that they died. And yeah, like, okay, Young was cool. It was good, da, da, da. but like at the end of the day, you don't know them. For yeah. Real. So that's what it is. I feel, I feel like um, the only person I would get sad about, and not even sad about them, is just the fact that. You know what I'm saying? What they doing ain't here no more. We're talking about celebrities, obviously. Uh, the only person I feel like I would miss is probably like an actor or somebody. Because actor, they have so many movies and stuff like that. Even like music, you can always go back and listen to it. But like a movie, like a real good one, when you watch a movie for the first time, that shit, they, it hits you differently, bro. You can never get that same first movie experience like say you listen to music you can buy out to all the time right and music will always be here but like say if like an actor died i'll say i'll probably i'll probably be like damn i would feel something more about that i still won't give a fuck like <laughs> morgan freeman <laughs> died morgan freeman like, hey what yeah morgan like, freeman that would mm-hmm. be, be sad but i would say i would say for me not morgan freeman like will smith yeah will smith probably my favorite actor too for me i think it's weird. I never cried for a celebrity dying, but like, yeah, I only cried twice about a celebrity. But like, who was that? I ain't gonna say you never cried about a celebrity. I'm not. I'm, I said dying. Cried about, oh, I dying. Said dying. Like, what like, you cry about? I cried. You know, it's very weird. But like, when a nigga do good in the sport, right? It's like, damn, these niggas talking all that shit about drugs. That nigga put a thirty bomb on y'all niggas head, and does it feel good? It's like tears of joy, but like, it's not actually crying. Oh, tears of joy. Yeah, You're not drunk. Drug? I feel like everybody out there know, know who Drug is. Jordan, tell them, tell them who, the, who the GOAT is in your eyes, bro. Go yeah, ahead. The GOAT in my eyes, basketball and football. Basketball is going on Drug. You know why? Because he's a 6'3 point guard for Sullivan, and he traded that nigga. I'm kind of pissed <laughs> at the niggas, and that nigga's at the fucking Raptors right now. But you know, anyways, that nigga's a fucking walking bucket. And you about that say he's not, he underrated as fuck. Like, really. Like, if you go look at his stats, he got better stats than D Rose, and that's facts that I can put on here. Not D Rose. D Rose, yeah, you know RJ. You know RJ. RJ watching this. You know, I'm sorry. You you D Rose man. I'm sorry that nigga hurt, but they they ain't drugs fault. You know that nigga don't know for that nigga. But anyways, for football, I'm gonna have to go with Carson Wentz. Well, the only reason why I call him Carson Wentz is because like he played for my favorite team, so like the Eagles. Yeah, 
the Philadelphia Eagles. So he got traded to the Colts. And so everybody was saying how bad he was because he played so bad last year. And now he's finally doing good. So I'm happy for that. So I, I cried a couple games. Because <laughs> you know, that nigga was truly fucking up defense. So I was just so happy. I was like, where all that hate at now? If you go look at my Twitter, actually, that's uh, <clears throat> on the Carson Wentz likes on there. So, you know, uh, that's the reason why I get on there. You know, look at uh, niggas talking about Carson Wentz because they talk about that shit. So, yeah. Damn, J Dog. But, like, okay, football. You play football, though, right? When you was back in, back in your day, you and you played football, right? Okay. Damn, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> 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 All right, bro. Well, okay, so since we talk about people, what if you misunderstand about you the most? What's something that you would change yourself about? What's the, what's the one thing you would change about yourself? If I had something to change, it would probably be shy, cause like um, it's not really good for like interviews and stuff, cause like you'll get real nervous and you don't know what the fuck to say, and like you run out of stuff to say easily. So like, that's do, you, what, do you just not be wanting to talk to people, or you just? You oh, I truly people? do not want to talk to people. Like, <laughs> like, I can go the whole day without talking to somebody, and I'd be perfectly fine. Like I would rather not say shit on a FaceTime call. Then uh be talking, but like if we in person, I'm gonna talk. Like if we in person, it's so much easier. But like on the phone or, or something, or if I don't know you, it's gonna be super hard. Like going to a girl DMs that I don't know, like that shit is always awkward at first. But like if they get to know me, I know I'm in that bit. I'm on. Fact. That's how you hop in the DMs. How you hop in the door? Terrible. I'm like yo, and then I just <laughs> <laughs> I just keep it simple. Why do you should not fuck with you though? And she not fucking with the She lost. She lost on me. Because you the king. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to her. Put boys on the map right now. boy. boy up a thousand. My man Jay Scott, the mascot. You know what I'm saying? He the leader of the team right now. He putting him up a thousand. And long. And if people that don't know, J Dog is really that guy. Like I know you say you don't like talking to people, but what's he? Don't don't let him get around your girlfriend in his props. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. <laughs> hey, Ju, what's one thing you would change about yourself, though, bro? Probably being shy, too. Being shy? Yeah. So, y'all just don't know how to talk to people? No, I just like to, like, and I like, I judge people a lot, too. Like, I just gotta observe them first. Because, like, if I see you out there acting weird and talking to different friend groups, I'm like, right, like who, you, who do you really hang around? Yeah, right. Like, because y'all know that one dude that be like, yeah, I'm cool, so-and-so. And they, they can talk to the friend, like, hey, bro, you cool with him? No, nah, we ain't cool with him. And he's just from friend to group, friend group to friend group, and you're yeah. like, but like, who really, like, who do you really hang with? So yeah, probably just being shy, cause like I gotta see how you move first. Cause I ain't gonna just talk to you, and then you mess yeah. up, end up being some random dude. You know, like uh, I'm not really mess with your vibe. You know? Right. So yeah, that's probably one thing I'll change. Probably just being shy. You being shy? You think you been think being shy has helped you at all? It helped me a lot, because like, like with you, for instance. When I first saw him, who is this dude? I don't even like this nigga. I don't even like you, but then you start talking. I'm like, bro, I guess he cool. He cool. <laughs> and you were friends with the friend. You were friends with my friends. So I'm like, all right, bro, I'm not supposed to be friends with the dude. And then now look at you, like, man. I ain't even. <laughs> I ain't even liked you at first, bro. Oh, God, that nigga was weird. He wore glasses and he was like, he was skinny and tall. I didn't like. I didn't like his vibe. And he was loud. Julius used to be so loud, bro. And he used to touch people. Remember back in ninth grade, he always used to want to touch people. Yeah. He was always show. He's like, "That was up, bro. I'm like, bro, <laughs> get off of me." <laughs> like the first time, the first time I saw you, I remember distinctly seeing him. He was, he was at the seventh grade dance. He was acting like he was break dancing. Clothes on the floor with glasses, break dancing. I'm like, "You're doing too much right now. You need to calm down." I didn't like. I didn't. I, I wasn't with you. Right, seventh grade, bro. Yeah. Seventh grade, though, I ain't mad. At my you, first impression was. It's really bad. They can be calling me weird as fuck. But like, anyways, I think the most <laughs> important thing about being shy is like you really gotta open up to a lot of people. Yeah. People like they want to know who like you really is. Like it's like a mystery. Like they really want to know like what he be doing. Like they don't know what you is on twenty four seven. Like they can't really get you out like that. Like you know, like, oh wait, this and he be doing at like, this time. They ain't, they ain't gonna know. Like you so mysterious. Like they ain't gonna know like what you be on for real. It's like. Say a group of girls and a group of guys. Right. 
you know, there's always that a couple of days I talk loud for no reason when all the attention. Like, bro, like, why are you so loud? And you're like, uh-uh, girl, why are you talking so loud? Right. Like, uh, and you see the quiet in the corner. Why are you quiet? And then when I ask you all the questions, come to you, mess with you. Oh, hey, how you doing? Like, what you doing? You just, nah, chill. Yeah. Just sit back. You gotta sit back, you gotta sit back and, and lay back. Then that's how you get them, right? Right. You just be chill and just be doing my thing. Would you, uh, I know y'all don't like to talk to people, but like, would you want to get to know people like that on that level or want to let people get to know you like that? It, it just depends on the time. Like, I know you for like a couple, like, I'll say about like a couple months. Like, I feel like the conversation is like, Get to picking up and like you gonna know more about me. Get deeper. Yeah, yeah. As the time goes, but it's not gonna be like fast. Like, yeah. But like we like if like as a girl I like like oh yeah we gonna get to click like fast fast as fuck. And you can let her know. Yeah, we got all the stuff. But how how deep would you get though? Like, I ain't, I ain't like, going like, that deep. Like some shit like she can use get me, but like yeah, just like simple look, stuff. Yeah, you like, you don't have no she she yeah. yeah. If you have them, like, you know, you, you know, you cut through. Like, like if I feel like, fuck you, motherfucker, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about happy emotions. He's talking about cussing out. <laughs> hey, I'm talking about cussing out. You can get mad, bro. What, what, what's one of the pet peeves that you got in females? Or not even just females, just regular people. It makes you want to cuss them out. What you got? Being a hypocrite. I, I can't stand that. Like, you going to tell me not to do something? But then you'll do your thing. Like, <laughs> like, like, really? Like, what is it really doing? So, like, you gonna slap me, so I can't slap you back. You'll get mad when I slap you that back. Like, come on now. Bro, like, I'm finna hit your ass, and you better believe I ain't gonna give a fuck how you feeling, because you hit my ass first. Bro, you wanna play with it? I'm gonna play back. Bro, <laughs> get it up, bro. What the fuck you talking about? I don't think you're so gonna hit girl, my boy. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I think you're, slapping. you're kind of violent, aren't you? I'm not talking about him. Nah, 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 I'm just talking about in general. Nah. I'm talking about in general. You said with people. If we talk about with just girls. Okay, okay. We talk about with just girls. Don't touch my ass. Like, please. Please don't touch my ass. That shit is so annoying. They find that joke funny, bro. That shit is not funny. That shit is so annoying. That shit makes me feel so uncomfortable. Like you touch my eye once, like okay. <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> kind of laugh it off. That's that's what they do. That's what they do. Okay, they play that. But like you, do, I tell you to start first. Like, do the same time. All right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get kicked out. <laughs> but I'm with you. It's all fat. <laughs> get from the fuck behind me, bro. You think first? Hell no. Never hold on. Let's not, man. She just said we're fat. But what you want? Ain't nobody ever told me my man. They just be saying that, bro. Yeah, but why did the action feel fast? Yeah, that was kind of sudden. I mean, not like that. Nah, it sounded real weird. Anyways, uh, what, would you, camera, uh, what would you change about <laughs> yourself, James? <laughs> <laughs> what would I change about myself? Uh, shit. Height. Oh, yeah. I, I, he is I mean, if, I you, if you guys don't know, James is the shortest one of our friend group. And it's not, I'm not even short. It's just that everybody that I hang out with is it's dumb tall. tall. Like, everybody I hang out with is at least six feet. Yeah, and me being 5'9", that means, makes, that makes everybody is at least three inches taller than me, bro. But he's 6'2", he's 6'5". And it's just like, when we walk into functions, I just want... <laughs> I just want to walk in and then everybody, I not be below everybody's shoulders. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, it don't, it don't hinder me from nothing. I don't think about it, and I really don't think about when I'm with them either. But like, if it was one thing, like I, just a magical effect, like I'd be about six, four, six, five. You know what I'm yeah, saying? it's, it's really bad for uh, James because you know, in most cases, you know, girls hate short niggas, and James is a short nigga. So like, every uh, like, would you want James, Julius, or Jordan? They're like, um. Jordan and James first, and you're like, why James last? He's too short. Yeah, he's too short. He can't pick me up and punch me down. <laughs> <laughs> he be like a big boy. He is. I mean, like he he just too short. But like, you know, you got love for the short kings too. You know, short kings. What y'all really doing, guys? With with that being said, <laughs> <laughs> I've never been ugly, so I don't have a, I don't have a problem with females. I've never had a problem with females. Except for the occasional female might be about, you know what I'm saying, five, eight, you know what I'm saying? Respectfully, yeah, go ahead and get you a six two king, you know what I'm saying? Or six five, you know what I'm saying? One of my homeboys, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you always you always throw them the lob, but other than that, if you're not messing with me because my height, I don't really care too much. You know what I'm saying? But like I just feel like 
being sick, being tall is nice, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not that short, but if I want to get a, a cup off the top of the off the top of the cover in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. wanna I think I don't wanna get up on his tippy toes. You know what I'm saying? I think I don't wanna get up on his tippy toes, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's doing too much. Especially know? if I look at you, your feet swing on the seat. Like your feet is hanging from the seat. Hey, yes. You, you little kid to me. That is the worst thing. One thing you cannot look hard doing is sitting in a chair with your feet swinging. I don't care what you got on. You can have a bulletproof vest on and a ski mask like Pooh Icy. If your feet swinging like you're... And you're, you grown. And that's, you grown. That's, that's, that's the worst to look. You know, bro, your feet not supposed to be swinging. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not a short not a short king, a regular king, a regular size king, 5'9". You know what I'm saying? I feel good about myself. That's the only thing, that's the only thing me personally off the top of my head that I would change about myself. Though. And what's the biggest pet peeve that you find in the female? In a female, uh, let me think about this. In a female, I don't want you to be too clingy. Be clingy, be on me, but not too clingy. Cause you know what I'm saying. I'm still my own man. Don't be, don't be all up on me all the time. Be all up on me when I'm with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. But don't be texting me talking about what you're doing all the time. Yeah. Don't, I get, I get understand. Don't be fake. Me personally, I can like you a lot. And I still won't want to talk. Don't want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. No disrespect to her. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I even be in that mood. Like I'll just be chilling, and I realize that I just haven't said nothing for like two hours. Like I'll be doing a game or something, or like on my phone or doing homework. I realize I ain't talking two hours. Somebody called me. You know they may be like the first person I want to talk to in the world. The only person I talk to on a daily. If you call me and I ain't talk for like two hours, like you call me, I'm like man, I, you know what I'm saying? Like don't. You know, uh, I don't want I don't want somebody to like me more than I like them, and I feel like being too clingy makes them makes me not like them as much. I feel like um, feel you, clingy. Uh, it depends. Like, yeah, what Jane said. If you want me, like, okay, yeah, we with each other, but like, but like, check on me. Like, where are you going twenty four seven? Like, I told you, I'm gonna do something. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. And if you call me and we we just talking and you like you call me especially I don't even want to talk to you in the first place. You talking about something? Oh, why you on the game? Or and if I turn my game off and you like, can we talk about something? And I'm like, what? And you got nothing to talk about? <laughs> yeah, I'm turning my game off and you don't piss me off. And I'm probably a ten times out of ten I'm gonna hang up the phone because like, what the hell was that? Damn, big dog. You really like really cutting him off? <laughs> yeah, they like that. <laughs> you like that? I don't know, but like, uh, but like a lot of things with females, right? Not even like, even like in the way that he's saying, like calling what you're doing. It don't even gotta be like in a bad way. Like she's checking up on you, make sure she's not like she like make sure you're not cheating or nothing like that. It's just that since I don't talk that much, me personally, naturally, if somebody's like dumb talkative. Like, half the time, I'll be like, I'm, you're going to be talking. I'll be like, damn, that crazy. <laughs> damn, that crazy. <laughs> oh, for real? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like that. And then when the conversation isn't fun for me, then it makes me not like you. Because, like, I'd rather talk when I feel like talking, which is kind of fucked up when you think it about is. it. Because yeah. uh, they want to talk, and I don't want to talk, but I'd rather talk than when I want to talk. But at the end of the day, it's my life. You know what I'm saying? It's your life. Fuck it, your life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're talking to me about something. I'm going to... I'm in there, but like too much when I'm doing something. Yeah. Like I got my mind focused on something else. And you trying to talk to me. Especially, okay, so when we be in, laying in the bed with a girl and you watching a movie and she get to talking while the movie on, like, <laughs> chill, <laughs> chill the movie on. I understand you want to talk, but like, what the hell, you want to have a, a whole full conversation while the movie's going on? Like, is the movie that good? It better be Marvel. It is that good. It better be I, I wonder what it is. I didn't turn on that good. movie for no reason. The movies do be good. Yeah. yeah. And you want to sit there and talk the whole time? Like, that on. is true. You take like a 10 minute talk. Like, you, do you do this at the movies? <laughs> <laughs> I hate going to the movie, bro. Kids just talk all day long. <laughs> and they want to scream at dumb parts. <laughs> like, man, that wasn't even scary. <laughs> Is that is that like your main date choice? The movie? Yeah, the movie. 
No, I think I think it would have to be like at a restaurant. True. Yeah. You paying? Depends. <laughs> on. What does what does that depend on? They uh. <laughs> I mean, if we together, I mean. If you, if I can. You if we together, we can, I can go like seventy five percent. I ain't paying all the time. I can go like. Hello, first day. I'm paying paying for. First, first few days I can pay for it, but like, if it gotta be like every time, hell yeah. nothing. Like, yeah. <laughs> at least you gotta check two. You work it too. So why the hell am I putting my check money in? Which, which could go into my car, which could go into my little sister or somebody. Why do they always gotta be on me? That is true. True, sir. I feel I feel like females expect you to pay for them all the time, even though females have money themselves. A lot of people say they won't have money, but then they'll go spend money on. You know what I'm saying? A hundred dollar set of nails and then get it replaced and break one in two days. Yes. But then they say you ain't got money and want you to pay for your food at McDonald's. Even yes. if it's just McDonald's, I work hard for my money and you say you ain't got my money. Even if you don't say you ain't got no money, I don't I don't wanna spend my whole check on you every single time. I ain't I ain't, I I'm not I don't have big bucks. I don't have I don't have a lot of bread but old buns, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got it like that. So I I don't like to pay too much. I feel like it's nice, but nah. Facts, yeah, especially like if I'm spending my paycheck on you and you spending your paycheck on yourself too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna get for myself? Like, you gonna give up the top every night? Like, what's going on? <laughs> and we probably not even together nine out of ten, so I'm gonna definitely not gonna pay every time. Huh? But like, um, yeah, I can go seventy five percent, like twenty five percent. You ain't fucking with no broke nigga. Okay, at least gotta be half. That's why I say. Yeah, like, I, 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 I feel like for dinner. Some, some stuff like that. How about it's just to have y'all just pay for y'all own dinner? <laughs> <laughs> one I'm talking about like if we did like like two like more than one thing. Like you not just eating. Okay. Makes yeah. Sense. Like combo type thing, you know, you feel me? Like you, you get like, this. Like, 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 yeah, like thing. we can go to the museum yeah. and go to the movies and get to eat. Yeah, but yeah. you don't want to make sure you pay like, like something yeah. too expensive, like your pay too something expensive. Like if it's too expensive part, like you pay for it. But like, it'd be nice if you pay for it too, though, because you know she work. Me personally, I would, I would, uh, I would date a rich woman, mm-hmm. so I wouldn't have to work no more. Mm-hmm. Me personally, she, I ain't, I ain't gonna say. She would depend on me. Sure, me me personally, I would, yeah, I would depend on. Me. I would too. It makes your life easier. Facts. Yeah, but then like, I give a good when y'all she support me when y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I forgot what to say, bro. <laughs> it took me out too. It took me out too. Alright, All right, so, uh. <laughs> what's your favorite personality traits? <laughs> oh, yeah, so we were talking about the worst personality trait. Uh, Probably being goofy. No, yeah. goofy like, just makes you like feel good, like, really outgoing. Yeah. Probably being just like all weird and stuck up and you know, all that other stuff. You can't be goofy with everybody though. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I understand that. I'm talking about like just like that I find it in somebody. No, I'm saying some people find it like you know yeah, no they, they ain't got the same type of humor as everybody else got. Yeah, some yeah it feels like it feels that weird dry humor like, oh my god, this is so funny. I'm saying like bro, I didn't chuckle. Like, yeah. Yeah, that thing. But you gotta match energy with people. But you saying being goofy? I feel like being goofy can take you anywhere you want to. Yeah. And if you like, just very verbal, like you like to talk. Don't talk too much, but you like to talk. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't even like to talk to people, though. Yeah. I don't like to talk to people either, but I don't know all I'm saying. Y'all, I don't like to talk to people either, but y'all say y'all, uh, me and Shy. I don't know. So y'all have to warm up people first before y'all get, get goofy with them? Yeah, you never gonna warm up. You I can't can, I can be goofy. I can't just be goofy right. off the bat. I'll bet. You can make a give, make them teach to you. What you want? <laughs> Is that your favorite personality trait about yourself? Being goofy or you got something else? Yeah, no, I'm serious, but <laughs> you like that. I'm serious with a motherfucker right now. No, bro, I'm saying, bro, you're I'm, not. Is that your... <laughs> Look at y'all laughing. I'm being dead ass. I'm dude. saying, is that, your, is that your favorite personality trait? And a person? No. Um, no, you personally. What's your favorite personality trait about yourself? I was talking about myself first. I was yeah. talking about somebody, like, somebody else. What are you talking about then? I thought, I, I, the whole time I think we were talking about ourselves. Nah. 
Oh, you talking about other people? Yeah. So you like other people to be goofy? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about yourself. No. Okay, but you, I thought you were talking about ourselves. Fake personality is trait for ourselves. No, nah, for myself, it would probably be a. How serious I say that. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> so what you like? What's your favorite personality trait? I'm stupid up. Um, That's what we talking about. It would probably be a. Communication. Um, for the simple fact, um, if you have a problem, you can tell me. Um, if I ask you what's wrong with you, and you tell me there's nothing, I'm not gonna give a fuck no more. Because <laughs> you said nothing. I'm not gonna go the extra mile to ask you, oh, okay, um, how can I do this? How can I do that? Well, you said nothing. So there's nothing for me to know. And if there was such a big deal, you would have told me when I asked you. Why go around <laughs> when I just asked you what's wrong with you? That is true. Like, what are you, five? <laughs> That's probably another pet peeve of mine too. Like, girls be preaching that communication is key all the time, but once they get mad, hey, bro, what's wrong? Nothing. Thanks. And like, when they like be arguing, um, but do y'all do y'all say what's wrong with y'all y'all self? Cause I know me personally, if somebody asked me what me was wrong and they ain't got nothing to do with them and they ain't make me feel the way I'm feeling, I'm not gonna just be like, this is what happened. See, it I, I wouldn't have a problem. I don't have problems, but like, if you be a hypocrite about uh. What your problem is, I'm going to have a problem. Because, like, you tell me I'm doing something wrong, and I find out that you're doing it too, I'm going to get pissed off because you're telling me I'm doing something wrong, and you're doing the same thing. Right. That's wrong. So what the hell is we having this discussion for if you have a problem with me doing it? Why the hell is you doing it? So that's how I would see it. But, like, that makes sense. But like um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Say you got a bad day, though. Would you, would you, would you go on record to tell your girl about it? Test. I you mean, some shit like that. That's what we usually do. At, well, that's what I usually do at the end of the day. Like, how your day was and stuff. She asked you how your day was, then I would probably tell her. And the number one thing I hate about um, when I text female is when I ask you what you're doing and you don't ask, how about you? <laughs> and you just leave me there to, to say I'm laying down. I'm going to leave you guys on right. That make, you got that's how you gotta do it towards someone. Ain't no more dry responses. I like how you did that. Like, I'm like, what you doing? How your day was? It was good. I'm just lying here. That's it. <laughs> how about me? The fuck? So this is a one way. But I post a meeting you now. You ask, oh, how your day was? How you doing? What about you? Okay, now nah, switch up. Now, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Now she don't know about your life. Yeah, now she don't know about your life. Where you been at? You been at the gym? You been shooting some hoops? Now she want to know everything about you. Okay. All right. Nah, I said that same energy from earlier. Not playing some hoops, bro. I don't know. I say uh, favorite personality trait and other people that I look for. Um. Yeah. Probably communication, like you said. I would like to know what folks thinking. Even not, not even just dealing with a female, just regular people. Like, if uh, I say what you think about this, or if I ask you your opinion on something, I can tell, like, when people get, like, half answers. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I don't like that. But I can tell when people hold emotions on me and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or if, if they hide in something. I know a lot of people uh, that have that same, try to listen to their gut about that, too. Intuition. I like I like communication. I like know what's on people's minds. Tell me, so, cause cause when you don't know what's on people's mind, bro, you gotta worry about it. You gotta fill in the gaps yourself. Like, what are they thinking about? You know what I'm saying? How are they interpreting the situation? You know what I'm saying? If I if I ain't gotta worry about none of that, and especially if I'm worried uh, talking to a female, right? I don't want her to tell me so off the bat and without me having to ask. Yeah. Which you gotta ask sometimes. Sometimes people don't want to open up. But me personally, I would I would say communication. I like I like I like that a lot. And I also hate about um with that um being mad or not telling how you feel. I hate that um when girls turn their attitude at you like you did something and you didn't do nothing the whole time. Like they just give you the attitude. You be dealing with them fights to them, Jordan. Right? Facts. They want me to fix this shit. Like I already like I care, but like truly like they want to hit you, yell at you. What you be doing? You be, you be breaking their heart. I'll just be chilling. Like, he be breaking their heart. That little lady. He do break he, hard. He he do go back, hard. I don't, like, if you, any, any of my exes see this, like, put in the comments if I break your heart. And if I did, do not comment it. Like, I, know it <laughs> I know at least two off the top of my head. 
I know, I know these, I know these are good. These are good too. But I hope they comment too. I'm putting, I'm putting this clip on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so like, yeah. Um, you just gotta uh, tell how it is, you know? Right. I think it's a good way. What, what, what do y'all think is the biggest lesson that y'all learned from dealing with people? Yeah, out of your whole life, what's your think y'all biggest lesson y'all learned? Probably being careful on what you say. Right. Because folks are always trying to use stuff against you. Like, it can be anything. It can be the smallest thing. Oh, I ate chicken yesterday. And then you be in an argument. Oh, you had to eat chicken yesterday. Like, why don't you even bring that back up? Like, yeah. it just be, like, just little dumb stuff. Yeah. So definitely watching what you say. Watch what you say. You ever offended the wrong person? Nah. You don't think so? I don't think so. You know, Personally, I don't think so. I might have, but I don't think so. Yeah. I, I remember I offended the wrong person. It was my teacher, though. <laughs> what she did, bro? <laughs> it was like it was like it was like fourth grade. That was the last time I was really disrespectful to a teacher. <laughs> she was we was we was waiting outside because we we got there early when the buses came, so we had to wait outside the classroom because teachers didn't open up yet. And uh, usually we stand up in a line, but we was so early we was out there for a long time, so we sat down on the floor. So we had to stand because you know the backpacks make stuff real heavy and stuff. So the teacher came out there. She was like, "Why y'all sitting on the floor?" I'm like, "Why are you wearing yellow?" Did <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, "Why are you wearing yellow?" And she emailed my mom, and then my mom, my mom gave me a nice little whooping for that. You know what I'm saying? That was the last time I really disrespected the wrong person. But yeah, uh, definitely don't disrespect the wrong person. So you yeah. might, might watch what you say. But I would say uh, probably the biggest lesson that I learned. From dealing with people, is that you have to uh, take what they say for the first time. You know what I'm saying? Don't uh, you have to take things at face value? You know what I'm saying? You can try to interpret things, but if somebody show you their true colors, you have to look at that, bro. You have to don't forget that shit because somebody will, especially when they mad. You know what I'm saying? A lot of emotions come up when people mad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you listen to that. And they say some like messed up stuff where they say how they really feel about something and they mad in a rage and they come back and try to apologize about it, bro. They don't really mean it. They don't really mean I that, don't. bro, because your cause your actions really be like that when you mad. Like you don't have yeah. no filter because people be trying to hurt your feelings. So you know in the back of their mind, if you really a solid person, you're not really gonna bring nothing up that's bad about the other person, even when you mad. Even if y'all fall off. You solid if you a solid dude, solid person. You're not going to do nothing like that. That's what I'm saying. So you got to listen to people true colors. For me, um, be honest. what he said about it, if somebody show you their true <laughs> colors and somebody go off on you, respectfully, I'm going right back on that. Like, if you say I'm a fucking stupid ass nigga or some shit, I'm going to talk about your ass back. Like, any shit, like, any shit for me. I'm going to break your ass. Like, if you try to talk shit, I'm going to break your ass. Like, you're not going to talk shit ever. So, ha- okay, let me ask you this. Have you ever offended the wrong person? You made somebody cry for haven't you? Hell yeah. What, what'd you say? You ain't got to put out. You ain't got to put out. Uh, <laughs> poo, poo. <laughs> but like, what'd you say? I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't put it on it. I can't say it on the podcast. It's, it's not really a... Uh, I need my sponsors. That's all I got to say. Okay, well, what did they say to you to make them uh, want to cry? Oh, they just talking mad shit. Like, just come on. No, <laughs> it's never that deep. I would never do that. But like, for a fact, like, um, I would say something like, "Call me a dumb ass in school or something." Like, right. just, just try to crack on me or some shit. Be like, "Oh, you failed or some shit," and they just keep going on and on and on. Right. They just ain't gonna stop. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just turn each other ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just think something like, "They fat as fuck." You fat motherfucker, you losing weight. I'm gonna go ham on the jacket. He's really like that y'all were wondering. You going for the jugular vein. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was tough, nigga. <laughs> Somebody called you dumb, he's all fat motherfucker can't lose weight. I mean, he said he can't he lose weight. I'm saying like he just going off of me, so I'm about to go off that. Like, oh, you you scared you you don't eat nothing. Like nigga, I know I don't eat nothing. I'm like, man, you know what I tell you like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm just chilling. What you going off on me for? I'm, I'm not, I'm never like, hey, James, you a pussy ass little nigga. I ain't gonna never do Sometimes, I mean, sometimes. <laughs> I'm saying you don't do that. I mean, I mean, but it's not even like in a bad way. I be like, joking. It's not like, it's not like I'm really going ham on this nigga. Like, I'm just, boom, throwing 
throwing <laughs> shots. Like, I'm trying to beat him. I'm like, I'm just playing with him. Love that. Love but that's that. not true. I do not. Bro, you I, come and hit me all the time. I'm not talking about physically hitting you. I guess you, you do both. So what, what do you what are, give what, me a what, what, what do you what do you say? hit your heart? He ran me. He like Jew. What, what? You a bitch? Man, <laughs> and then yeah, that's playing, he, bro. He, comes to me, he just poop <laughs> poop. <laughs> Dude, he he used to come my ear and tell me so we'd be in a uh, lunch lap. Jay Doe <laughs> hit my ass in the chest three times. My damn chest, we we over there by the uh, no offense, by the spare kid. Yeah, I learned uh, you can't get everybody a reaction. That's very true. You you, you, you react can give people your energy. Like, say we came from here every day. Somebody says something, and we get mad. Be like, don't say that shit. Don't do that. And they just come back every day. Keep doing it. We keep getting a reaction. Keep giving something to fuck with, fuck with us with, and they gonna keep taking advantage of that because we give them a reaction. But we come here cool, calm, collected, and don't even care about the hate. Then they're not gonna do it as often. They might still hate, but like they ain't gonna be feeding off the energy, right. trying to keep keep it going and going and going, find something new. Like how speed is, you know, <laughs> they 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 was getting on that man nerves like every single day. That man was talking about like, killing us at the title joint. Speak. Yeah. Yes. What like, are we doing now? Like, trying to get his, like, parents fired from their job, uh, making his address, find out what he's going on there. Yeah. That's too much, bro. Uh, donating money to talk about his auntie dying or something, or mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. wherever the family member was, talking about dying. Like, they were just feeding off that, like, over and over. And he's talking about, stop it, stop it. They were just feeding off that shit. That's why you don't put your personal life on social media like that, too. That's another thing. But I feel yeah. like that just comes with being popular on social media. I mean, yeah. Because people, people will literally go back up and dig up your life. Like, think about it. Like, uh, people that be famous, they be going back and, like, doing uh, before they were famous. You, you know how stuff mm-hmm. on YouTube before yeah. they were famous? They go back and find a whole, a whole bunch of stuff about your old life. People will literally go back like, look up, like, what's your old high school? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Who do people you mess with? You know what I'm saying? People will literally go back and try to ruin you. Not even try to ruin you. They'll just be like, that ass all up in your personal space. That's what I'm saying. Being famous is cool, but like, it's a lot of negative shit. Because of my stuff. Like the Island Boys, like, they really got all a lot they, of hate. But all like, they did is negative stuff. But, crazy. you know, they didn't feed it to it, and they turned it to something positive. And I was like, half of them that was talking about, oh, I used to joke with them. I like, I actually fuck with them. Yeah, I've been yeah, seeing them in yeah. the comments. They were like, man, these guys actually pretty cool. All they all y'all do is hate, and all they do is just laugh at it. Like, they, yeah. they're really cool. And they're making money, but you really can't hate on them. Shout out to the Olive Boy, you know, Capital. They been uh, verified and everything, getting money off TikTok, everything. Facts. And people say it on, people dress up for them for Halloween. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was, that yeah. was out of pocket. That was I, out I saw pocket. one, uh, he like attached french fries to his hair and then put like the ends yeah. on them. Like, yeah. yeah. They was doing way too much for that man. Yeah, and the funny thing was, people really make fun of them, but they 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 really don't care. They don't care. They, they made hella videos of it too. Like, 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 bro, we don't care. Like, we yeah. still gonna do what we do. Like, y'all giving them more clout, like, literally. Talking about the Island Boys, like, they literally, like, hit big off that shit. Thanks. I didn't even know who the fuck they was. I'm like, I ain't trying to do Trying to do That's all I heard. I'm an Island Boy. Yo, but they would have got my head. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude. I'd be like, why? I go on. That people low key too. I ain't gonna catch it. I don't know what they say, but it's sketchy. I'll be in my room and be like, I'm an alien, but a train to me. Yeah. But hey, free souls. Not it. But well, speaking of speaking of their future, right? And what they got going on. What, what What's one thing that y'all are excited for for the future? Just more money moves. Seeing what kind of money I can make in the future. What I can do, how I'm be living, everything. Well, as I've been thinking for the past few days is how big this podcast can get. Oh, yeah. And, Thank you, you know, for that. I'm going to be grateful. I'm never going to switch up on our on, on fans, you know. Like, yeah, most don't people, worry. people be downgrading their fans, like, yeah. and stuff. Like, yeah, like they, they just they ain't making them. Like, I ain't doing that, but, like, 
I'm telling you, when I get big and I get a blue check, <laughs> I'm going all the girls' DMs. That's all I got to say. <laughs> no cap. <count. laughs> Do you think money will change you? Hell no. Nah, money definitely Money is not going to change you. But it does for some people, which is crazy. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think money really changes you. I think money gives people the opportunity to actually show who they are. Or do things that they could never yeah. do. When you, when you think about it like that, because you really can't change. People ain't going to change unless they want to. You know what I'm saying? The they only, should be blowing it for no reason, too. The only, the only way I would say people change, quote unquote change, is like um, when they change themselves to go get money. Like they may stop hanging out with homeboys because mm-hmm. they got to go grind and stuff like that. Homeboys might be saying like, oh, you switched up or whatever, but really they was just on their grind doing what they got to do. Because you really do got to change yourself to become... Like a like a rich person, or find like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, a good person. You gotta actually create your life and change stuff. Cause if you don't change yourself, you gonna stay doing the same shit you've been doing. Yeah. You gonna be making the same amount of money you're doing. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff. That's the only way I would say people switch up. But other than that, if you if, if you uh start making money and you just start acting crazy, wilding out, you know what I'm saying? People say switch. So I don't. I think that's just always been you. Just now that you got the opportunity to do what wow. you want to do, you doing it now. That's what I think. I think I'm going to uh, switch up for the good, though. Like, if you was hating this whole time, I'm not bringing you up with us. Like, oh, yeah. can't do that. Yeah, look. Yeah. If you yeah. was hating before we started this, and then we blow up, and then you try to get on the street. <coughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, I still support a my haters. But don't, but don't worry, bro. With that being said, since this is the first episode, we ain't going to go Hollywood on yeah. y'all. We ain't gonna go Hollywood. We, we understand. We appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't go up with us, but you know what I'm saying? Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's all you need to worry about. You know what I'm saying? Support. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just support just support the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Support us whatever we do. What other we all be living good together. You know, but like Yeah. You know, a simple no would have been nice, but no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Like, I'm just saying. No. A little, little too much, but you know, yeah. 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 Didn't hurt my feelings really, so. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about guests, actually. Since we, since I don't want y'all to be confused. We're talking about guests. If we ask you to be on the show, and you come with an extra fuck no, keep that same energy whenever you see me. I don't know about them. I don't know how they feel. But whenever you see me, keep that same energy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, other than that, I, I just plan on improving on folks, bro. Especially for next year. One thing I, next year that I want to improve for myself is uh, self-discipline. Because you gotta have self-discipline for everything. That's like with a lot of stuff. Self-discipline like to not spend money where it doesn't need to be spent. Like I don't need yeah. to go I don't need to go to Burger King and then cook out on the same day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 and, and that's a lot of money. Like if you ever were to like write down your finances, bro. I don't know if y'all do that or not, but I do sometimes. If you like write down and add up like all your expenses like over like the past couple days, like you'd be like, damn. Maybe it is food at home. You know what I'm saying? You know, folks be like, man, ain't no food at home. I'm like, nah, shit. Maybe I go in there, warm up some chicken dinners or something. You know what I'm saying? Cool PB and J. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I realize you spend a hell of money on other shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you just got to be more uh, secure in that and, like, so disciplined to, like, do things that I know I need to do. Like, if I if I got homework, uh, I need to tell myself to get off of TikTok for for three hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, so disciplined <laughs> stuff like that. That's all, that's all I want to improve. I feel like I have a problem with that, but everything's gonna get better. I ain't gotta. I'm, I'm gonna get it right. What you think, Drew? What's one thing you need to improve, especially leading into next year and all the money moves you finna get into? Probably just time management. Because okay. I be like, yeah, okay, I'm finna get a discussion board done. Five hours later, I'm still scrolling through TikTok, going on Instagram, YouTube, all that. Discussion board. I'll be a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, hey, we're well, we finna take a trip. Oh, I man, we even work there before we go. Then on that Sunday, damn, man, I ain't even no work. Hey. And I'm like, all right, but I'll do it on the way home. On the way home, sleep. So I'm like, I right, gotta yeah, just work on that. But you know, it ain't nothing. Did just you know never get his work done? He all he complain about school. Though. That was like, <laughs> what about you? What about you? What about you, what about you What's one thing you need to improve? I already said it, but um, what's the goal of this uh, podcast? You know, and how you think it's gonna change a lot? Uh, it's definitely gonna blow up. I believe that. You usually got to believe in it yourself. But I believe that's going to blow up. Turn my life. It's going to make people want to talk more. Like, talk to us more. Because, mm-hmm. you know, who doesn't want to have a conversation? We three cool dudes just trying to make money. That's what it is. Facts. Yeah. But go for the podcast. 
I plan on being picked up and go to like a real radio station, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get like a TV. We can be like the, like uh, like the View or Ellen. You know what I'm saying? Have, <laughs> yeah. our, own, have our own shows. Have the old people. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, what the cozy boy doing today? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Tune into us on TV. You know what I'm saying? Be straight like that. Or the Breakfast Club. Oh yeah, yeah. The, Breakfast, the Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club, they got their own studio, you know what I'm saying? So like that, hey, everybody come through there, all the memes be starting at Drake, you know what I'm saying? Drake. Drake. You know what I'm saying? That's that's <laughs> that's why I hope the podcast goes. Um, you know what I'm saying? As long as y'all stay with us. If you're watching so far right now, appreciate you, gang. What you what you who you say? What you say, J Dog? I'ma say the goal is um least when I go outside, they can be like, oh, that's Jordan. They're from the, uh, <laughs> they from the, <laughs> the, the podcast. Uh, you from the podcast. Oh, can I get an autograph picture? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get to interact with everybody. You know, get a, uh, hit a, post a tweet. Get like 20,000 20, 20, likes in like a minute. Yeah, like, <laughs> blow up. You know what I'm saying? Bro. But like, you know, if, if it could change me in a way, change my life in a way, I hope it, like, because this is something that I think I would like to do. That's something, like, simple and I got, like, work and stuff. So, like, I can make this into, like, a career and we can all, like, make money from this. Yeah. You know? So, that's that's the thing I would want to change our life. And we could go, like, to, like, a lot of places, get sponsored by places, mm-hmm. you know, get our hotel paid for it. Something that we never did before, like go out of country with each other. Yeah. Something that we never did is like go to Canada, talk to Drake or something. <laughs> that that would be hard. Six, 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 talk to Drake. That would be hard. That would be, that would be very That'd hard. Be tough. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but say you didn't have to do the podcast. If you say you want to talk to Drake, if you had hundred million dollars and you could do whatever you wanted to do, what are you doing with it? Hundred million dollars. Um, Hundred million dollars. Investing in stocks. Make sure that it's gonna build right back up. Making money off it. Money building money. Okay, let's not put a dollar amount on it then. If you was king of the world, what you doing with it? Anything you want to do? It, it's, it's like a whole imaginary situation. If you wanted to move Mount Everest in your backyard right now, and you king of the world, you could do that. That's just a question. Complete, complete imagination. Uh, king of the world. You know, I gotta go big or go home, you know. I gotta have the biggest house, biggest mansion, whatever you wanna call it. Right. Backyard, full of baddies, <laughs> know how to cut hair. <laughs> the baddies know how to cut hair? Motor line, do it all, cook, okay. clean. They gotta be all types of baddies in the house, <laughs> front yard. You look like, oh yeah, that's Jordan house right there. <laughs> um, If you live next to me, yeah, we cool, you know what I'm saying? We cool, we cool, but like, I don't know you gotta get the fuck on like you gotta go we all in the aisle by now. We get we all like time limited food wherever we want, you know what I'm saying? So okay. basically like your own little like world type shit. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. You try me, you get shot by the guards. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sniper. Get your head cut off. Snipers on the roof. Like we I'm putting you on TV, give you an example. Like if you try to fuck with me, like this is you nigga. <laughs> Beat it to the damn fishes, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so you got this big old house with the snipers and, and the shooters and the baddies in the backyard. Where you staying at? Where you living? Ooh, hey, that's tough. And, um, I'm yeah. going to Alaska, you know, because I'm born there. So, you know, I got to live there. Hell no, I'm going Back. to I need somewhere with some sunlight, nigga. You, I don't know. That's you. I you talking about me? You did. You did. <laughs> <dead. laughs> I live in some like, weird stuff like Utah or something. Like people were, people don't really go. <laughs> you talk. Y'all want to go yeah. overseas? Mm, nah, I'm really stay. Ooh, if I if I had to shoot somewhere in overseas, it would be uh, Japan or China. Japan. I'm Dubai. I, I definitely want to visit Japan. They got a lot of animation. I love Japan. Japan. Uh, Japan looks very cool. It's I love my Asian woman, by the way. <laughs> it's just. It's <laughs> it's just a, it's just a different culture or whatever. I want I want to experience all that. I'll be I'll be so damned if I if I look back on my life when I'm about to die and just be like, damn, what if you know what I'm saying? I would hate I would hate to be that nigga. You know what I'm saying? 
you know what I'm saying? What if I could have went here and went there and went there? Like, cause like, I feel like that's not living life to the fullest. You gotta do whatever you can to realize your dreams. And that's where I want, I want to do. I want to go to these places. What, you saying you have baddies in the backyard though, right? Yeah. So you, you, you ain't got no family. They can stay somewhere around me. Like I said. <laughs> so you got, you got a wife with just kids? No wife, no wife, no wife. No wife and baddies. No wife. No kids. You have kids. You have a daughter? Son? Yeah. I'm, I'm, Both of them? I, I, don't, I don't know if I want a daughter. I want a son before a daughter. Yeah, yeah but a daughter's not even the right turn, right there. That's the first thing you think about? Yes, that's the worst thing I can think of. Yeah. I will. Or, that has to be or, uh, the worst thing. Son. <clears throat> that's not straight. That would destroy me. Really? But why would it destroy you? It is gay. Oh. Don't say the word again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I, I don't know. I, like, you would definitely have to adjust to it, though. Because yeah. imagine, like, Oof. you just think about, like, you talking good about your son. Yeah, he's all the girls, da 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 da. And now we just turn out gay. And then he bringing boys to the crib. I'm like, dang. Hey, Dad, can I go sit in my room? I can't sit down. I thought you said that. Yeah, like, hey, Dad. I can't sit down. You gotta you think mm-hmm. deeper into it. Like, hey, Dad, can my boyfriend come over? <laughs> Don't say that again. <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh. You would have been like, you, you you feel a whole lot type of way. Yeah, it'd make you feel a whole lot better if he's had a girlfriend. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She can come out of the crib. But you just got to adjust to it. Uh, the main thing I worry about with my son is to not get anybody pregnant. So if, if you, if you want to have a boyfriend, I guess that would kind of ease my pain. Not pain, but like my worry a little bit. Because mm-hmm. I know anybody getting pregnant. But, like, it's, it's different. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Gay people, you know what I'm saying? They ain't no different. It's different for a son. Because you would have... Because, like, right now, I feel like it would be weird because we always imagine, like, if we were to have sons, they would be like us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, yeah. cool, laid back. You know what no I'm saying? Anything. But if your son turned out gay, uh, it would be different because it's not exactly how you imagined it. So, like, I don't, I don't think I would. Playing sports and all that, like... I just couldn't think about like my son wearing makeup and like yeah. imagining getting pounded by a boy or just you know just thinking about how cute his dad is or some shit like just some okay, weird yeah. shit <laughs> like Mr. Johnson he may, like, he may be gay he's not like, like, crazy like, nigga. He's Mr. Johnson <laughs> he's in that video I see I seen the Johnsons that's that's hella that's hella extreme. Gay people, but I'm, gay people are attracted to other dudes, not the, not their parents. I, you never know, but uh, I had no problem with them though. Like, if you cool, you chill, like you never try me. Like, oh yeah, we could be straight, but like if you like try to lean in for a kiss, like you're gonna die. Like, you don't nobody want you good. I'm just saying, like, like if you attract, yeah. no cool people, no, just don't. You know, I just don't roll away, but you know, it should be cool. Have a conversation. I think. Do not talk about your sex life and stuff? Some, uh, from my experience, uh, especially on TikTok now, all I see is the only gay people I see are like funny gay people. But like, I don't, I don't got a problem. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like Santana? <laughs> like Saucy Santana? I don't know what that is. The nigga, the nigga that made that day, you know what I'm saying? Uh, how you going? That's a white boy. Yeah, that's white Santana. Boy? I thought a girl made that. No, nah, I saw Santana. Then. That was that Is was he I saw Santana. It's, it's he's a gay black dude. And he, uh, and he a big gay black dude. Yeah, hang out with uh young young Miami. He be on live with her all the time. Yeah, we been doing that then. You didn't know he was like he made. That was a girl that made that. Yeah, no, it was saw Santana. If you go on his, if you go on his TikTok page right now, hey, what? It just him do it. It just him. I can kill a dance too. I'm gonna still do it too. I'll stay. I'm stay beside. <laughs> it's really hard. It go with it go with every single dance, bro. I, I don't care what no song. I don't care what song it is at all. That dance is gonna go. And that was a trend for. It's still a trend now. It's still a trend. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that other that other one. Uh, it's like I just came back from the dead, and they told me you still not that girl. <laughs> like like it's just like you know what I'm saying. It's funny to me. once you once you get past the fact that um they just. Not like everybody else, like they just like people. I mean, like shit, you like what you like. You, I mean, fuck it, it's your life. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But if, um, yeah, I don't care. But what 
we talking about? Dream situations. Dream situations. What would you do? Yeah, you said you was the king of the world. King of the world. So what would you do? What, what would I do? Me personally? Um, I would I would get all the technology I can and use it. You know what I'm saying? Try to make it better. Because I, I, I want to do shit that people can't do. Cause if I if I'm literally the king of the world, I I'm, I'm the only person that would do a lot of shit. So I would get uh, the best scientists. I would get make them make like jetpacks. I do want a jetpack. A jetpack or like a. Uh, I want a flying car. A hoverboard, but like one that actually hovers. Yeah. Like I would get I would get shit like that. If I'm king of the world, like you don't worry about nothing else. You a scientist you, for the next two three years. You you won't sit here and design a hoverboard for me. You know what I'm saying? That's how good. I would do. I, I pay good, you know what I'm saying? And in a perfect world, wouldn't nobody be hungry? You know what I'm saying? If it was king of the world type junk. That's how, that's how I'd do it. If I was king of the world, big old crib, obviously. Backyard full of baddies, you know what I'm saying? That's my man, J-Dog, right here. Nice. You know what I'm saying? But I would have that. Uh, And I know I said baddies, but like I would want a wife too. So, you know what I'm saying? I would I would just have to be cheating on her. What do you like a polygamy mm. type thing? Polygamy, that's multiple wives. Yeah. I don't know if I could do multiple wives. That's a lot of energy. But uh like different days, different wives. Different, you know? different days, different wives. That's better than what you was gonna do because you said you can't cheat on her. Yeah, cheating, but you're actually married and they know the role. You can yeah. yeah. Marry fifty wives. But I mean, <laughs> you're the king. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, maybe maybe wife was wrong where I would want to have a man, you know what I'm saying. I would want to have that one girl that I can come to chill with all the time. You know what I'm saying. Vibes always good. I come through and we, you know what I'm saying. If I want to take a nap, but I want to be cuddled up at the same time, I'm gonna cuddle up with her, not just some, not just some random girl that look good. And I wanted, to, you know what I'm saying. One of the baddies out my backyard. I would, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to. So you would want to go to the same one every time. I would want to cuddle with the same person every time. Mm -hmm. So you can send them looking me, but just make sure you only, you know, cuddle with one girl. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, that's not really polygamy if you're not married. Yeah, I don't think you still can't have one. Just, yeah, but then... Might as well just push for it, you know? Nah, I'm king no, of the world. No, no, no. I'm king of the world. That's my situation. That's what I would do. I think so. In a perfect world. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be getting married like that. You know what I'm saying? In this generation, even yeah. without the dreams to do it, I don't think too many people finna be getting married like that anyway. <laughs> nah, yeah, that's to right. be honest, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This generation is not the one to be dating in, my boy. And before we wrap this up, um, how do you feel about uh men and women being friends? Can they just be just friends? I don't. Me personally, I don't think men and women can be friends unless uh, both of them find something that they don't like about each other. That is true. Cause, Cause you wouldn't you wouldn't be friends with an no ugly girl. That's just fact. Fact. A lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. I mean, some people would, I guess. But I'm saying like that's the only way I feel like men and women can be actually best friends because you may not like that person now but since y'all like best friends now you like their personality a lot a lot of people say they don't even date for looks you know what i'm saying so if they like the personality a lot let, let them look good one day you know what i'm saying let a girl let a girl have a boy best friend she has she be talking to a boyfriend boy best friend gonna get a haircut after you just broke up with your old person you know what i'm saying your boy best friend been for you the whole time you're like hey man, boy best friend what you Good, show sure. I'd be like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I could, you know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how I think about it. I don't think boys and girls can really be best friends unless they find someone unattractive by each other and be like actual, like, platonic friends. You feel me? What you think, dude? There's always some history behind it. There's, a, there's always some history behind it. Like, a girl just can straight up have a boy best friend without having some history behind it mm -hmm. or something happening. Because, like, don't no dude want to have. He don't want a ugly girl best friend. I like, like yeah. oh, that's my best friend. And you show your home, but ooh, she ugly. I'm like, dang, bro. Yeah. But she fine. Like, hey, man, put me on here. Do So this just gives you more attention, especially yeah. if she's bad, like like Instagram model type bad. I yeah. feel like dudes ain't trying to be friends with a girl no way, just to literally just be friends. But with yeah, them they're they're way. they're definitely in for the time. You know what I'm saying? I, they definitely ninety percent out of the people, right? Boy best friend, girl best friend. I feel like ninety percent of the time, if the girl would be like, hey, hey, boy best friend. You know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying, if I were to ask you to be my man right now, what would you say? Or, yeah. or if I were to ask you to, you know what I'm saying, let's let's get into it. Let's, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling bad. Let's smash real quick. What are they gonna say? No. They're gonna step 
immediately. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? If you were to test out that relationship, they'd be like, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm saying, like, people could disguise the boy best friend thing, you know what I'm saying, or the girl best friend thing, you know what I'm saying? They're really trying to get in drama. That's how I feel about it. I, <laughs> I think you have a very different ways of being just friends. Yes, I think they can be just friends. Um, they can both be good looking and they can have nothing in common with each other. That's true, but it's rare. It's rare. And that's what I'm saying. It's not all, but it's going to be like probably like 10, 15% going on that. Yeah. Like being like just strictly just friends. But like most of them, I'll say like, yeah, they could uh, be talking, but like what Jay said, Wait, wait till they look good or something. Wait till she get heartbroken or something. Mm-hmm. She go, she go. Um, I feel like the girls will want uh, the dude in long term. Like the dude probably would uh, look for a short term, short term or something. Try to be friends just to hear or something. Mm-hmm. But like, if it's like long term, the boy will like hear like all the dudes she talk about, and then he probably get tired. Yeah, and, but still be the friend anyway because she bad and she look bad, <laughs> and then um maybe like she'll break up with a dude and then she finally start feeling the uh the dude that she best friends with for a long time, right? Yeah, and just start getting talking, and they be like the perfect match. Like, shit. I don't know if if I had a girl best friend, she can she telling me all the stuff that she been doing with the other folk, and she try to talk to me. Oh, yeah, that might be a I, I wouldn't yeah. talk. I don't think I would talk to him, but you know what I'm saying. But some best friends, uh, best believe they just fucking. <laughs> they basically been friends with benefits. I've seen it too. But many they times. could have a boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, oh, this is my best friend. That is so true. Boy, that's 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 yeah, J Dog two two nine coming through the, the relationship advice. <laughs> <laughs> Did you cut me off? <laughs> I didn't mean to cut. I thought you were done. No, <laughs> before J-Dog, I was just saying two 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 three nine two two three nine. David, I would start trusting your hoes with Soulja Boy. Don't do something first. That's all I got to say. I guess I don't know. Soulja Boy did everything. You know, little ass said he was the first person to uh, record something. Uh, uh, I thought he was so like, no, I am. That shit crazy. <laughs> he really liked that. He just doing random stuff. Yeah, true. I don't know how he do it either. Mm. But with that being said, man, it's been the Cozy Boys back again with the Cozy Vibes podcast. Part one. Many more coming. We got new episodes every week. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Keep showing support. And with that, we'll see y'all next time, man. And we out of there.